What's up, guys? It's Joel Hawkins, your host with another Mix It Up Reactions here with my co-host. H. Jones. I caught you in mid-sip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get my water. Uh, so we're doing a break with our Avenged Sevenfold tear to go on a little bit of a BTS tear. And uh, today we're going to be doing Life Goes On. Uh, we found a English sub. Uh, it says Romanization and Hangul. I don't know what that means. Is that like a certain, is that like visualization or is this the no actual idea. music video? I have no idea. No, it says music video. It's I, can't MV. Even, I can't even give you a good guess. Okay. I don't know. Well, whatever <laughs> it is, we're going to be checking it out today. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you know when new videos are coming out. And of course, check out our merch and stuff like that. Links in the description are always, you know, there. Mm. Social media, TikTok, whatever. Mm. We'll talk to you. Yeah. So let's go ahead and watch. Life goes on. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I, there's an eight ball MJG. Oh, Life okay. goes on. That's what I heard. Okay, so what do you think about that? It's very different from the other two. Yeah, it's very different from the other two ones. So, 
Okay, I need to know the story behind it. I know Army knows. Army, what's up? What's COVID. up? Tell me. Let me COVID. know. Huh? COVID. Well, yeah, but I need to know the story behind it. Was this something they released during COVID? Was it something that was after? And they were saying that life would go on. Eventually, the sunshine will come. The dust will live off. Well, but probably during if that's, I mean, if those are the lyrics, then it well, makes sense that it's during. Maybe, but it, it could have been, I don't know, foreshadowing or I don't know. It could have been something that they they wrote like at the tail end of it saying that because the way they're saying that it's like it seems like it's never ending like it's it's not going to end. Oh, I mean, it's COVID because you weren't like that at the beginning of COVID. You weren't like that in the middle of COVID, but towards like 2021. I think after a year, everybody was like, I'm tired of this shit. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. After a year, it was like, ah. Yeah. But um, <laughs> but I'm also curious, like during like the pandemic, were they all together in the house or like, did they have their own houses at that point? Or I'm curious if they like spent the whole time making content, and whatnot, mm-hmm. or were they still doing some stuff or traveling or whatnot? I'm curious about that because you never know with anything that people do if they were, you know, well, they were probably, you know, of course, under quarantine. You know, because mm-hmm. we all were <laughs> yeah. for so long. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just curious on like if they because I remember they said whenever we put out dynamite, they said they put out dynamite. So it was to, during the pandemic to brighten people's spirits, mm-hmm. you know. So uh, I'm curious if they put out a bunch of different songs like I'm curious is like every year, like a normal year before print pandemic, would you say like how many music videos and songs got put out in a year? And I'm curious to did that increase during the pandemic or did it decrease? Mm-hmm. I'm also curious about that because I'm curious about if they were just, you know, they weren't doing as much. So all they had time was to write and mold. And I'm curious about that. It kind of probably just more so depends on uh, access to the studio. You yeah, know, like a lot well, of people record at home. And if that's the case, they would have been writing well, it and also, putting out a lot it more also, music. It also depends on a bunch of musicians I've known ones that are famous or non-famous, they have studios in their houses. So, you know, I mean, it depends on what you're doing and not necessarily people who had studios in their houses weren't producing anything. So it's Mm -hmm. kind of, it's not really dependent on the studio. It's dependent on per se of what they actually did. Like that's what I'm curious about. Yeah. Um, But um, yeah, I mean, I like the song. It's, it's, it's very upbeat in a way because it's, it's, it's acknowledging that, it's is hopeful. this ever gonna end hopeful. yes it will end eventually yeah. life will go on and go back to the way it is be happy for the moments you got to share with family and friends and got to be closer because of it because let's be honest we all did mm-hmm. even though we were technically disconnected and divided between each other because of houses and you didn't want to you know kill your grandparents if you mm-hmm. had a bug or something you know but uh we became much closer because we were more inter compartmentalized not inter, not compartmentalized we were more interchangeable like connected to each other mm-hmm. con like contacting each other and saying hey how are you doing yeah. how are things going are you doing yeah. okay how's yeah. your family like because you became more conscious you had more time you weren't consistently trying to work all the time you became more conscious of your family and friends and things like that so mm-hmm. that part the only thing i do miss about pandemic you know is having that kind of time sometimes one, because I love playing video games and I played a lot of video games during the pandemic. <laughs> so much video games. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, I like that video. It was good. I like that they, I like that they did stuff for their fans during the pandemic and yeah. didn't just like, what is it? Uh, disappear. Yeah, disappear <laughs> or, you know, cover the wagons and you know mm-hmm. make a defense against yeah, the you world guys are sick. yeah yeah no way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah they didn't do that so that's that's good they did something for their fans they were trying to help people the mental health mental health checks and stuff like that you know that was really cool because a bunch of you army told us you know hey the, you know they did a lot of stuff during the pandemic to try and help people cope with it and get through it and everything else so that's uh i have a lot of respect for them because of that I have a lot of respect for them, period, because, 
Like so I'm I, trying to write a song with seven people. That shit's difficult. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That's, <laughs> that's true. Well, there's probably different songs, different albums, different writers, the main well, writers I mean, that start an idea or grow something. Well, even if you think just along the line of egos, right? You got seven people trying to get on the track. Like, yeah, these guys like, aren't. Why that. you got eight bars and I only got two? What make you so special? You Dude, know, like these guys don't have egos. I'm but I'm sorry. saying that's yeah. that's a normal thing to happen. When you no. have when you have that many people <laughs> trying to get on the track, no, I wouldn't say it's ego. I think more or less it's because uh, I, you know, I grew up in the band space, yeah, so but it's not everybody's ego. not singing. You have a lead singer. I don't everybody's know. band Ben Sevenfold has four singers in it, so <laughs> well, but they got a main and then more so background and yeah. No, I, I mean, there's there's everybody shines at different points. That's the whole point. Like if you're in a band you want a solo for guitars and stuff like that. Right. You want a drum solo. But do you get a solo every time? No, but the singer doesn't get to shine all the time either. Yeah, but it seems, I don't know everybody's faces all the way to say, but it seemed like everybody had a chance to, to get their moment. Yeah, true. But that's because it's, it's, it's not the band aspect of it. It's something different, you know, yeah. like, I mean, instrument wise, like, yeah. no, they, they all get a chance to shine and play on and do some stuff and, create some little snippets here and there. I really, I really do like the video. That was pretty awesome. But, um, man, I was saying something and you interrupted me. I don't remember now. Make me feel bad. Oh, no, I don't mean to make you. Like I was you. saying something. You just had to open your big I, mouth. I, 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 I don't know what I was trying to I say. It was I more important than what you was trying to I say. I didn't mean to make you feel bad about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you always, you know, normally you don't talk and that's why I have you here. So when you start saying stuff, when I'm saying stuff, you just messing everything up. And then uh-huh. I lose my train of thought. That's you. That's all. Normally you don't talk. I know. So then when I say something, I leave then, a you, lot then of you get gaps. all upset. You're like, why are you talking no, when I'm talking? No, it's not that. It's just <laughs> if I'm in mid sentence, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to forget. I lose track of things. It's like chasing a rabbit trail. Just, just like, oh, that rabbit's dead. It's gone. <laughs> I don't remember what I was talking about. What was it? <laughs> feet what <laughs> yeah no I, li- I like the song i like the group i enjoy the way they <clears throat> the way they kind of bring mental health into the realm and they bring uh honesty if if i can be honest like they're being forthright and forthcoming in a lot of stuff you know they're not trying to make it they're not trying to change the meaning of something and making it more dark for the purpose of sales. You know, Mm -hmm. they're trying to just be honest about it. Mm -hmm. People need a little help. They need some help coping. They want to understand. They want to know, they want to know that there is an end to something like this, you know, because it was scary for a lot of people whenever the pandemic hit, because it was like, you didn't know what was going to happen. Yeah. Because you're seeing entire governments go, Oh crap. And like lose their shit. (laughs) Well, when you, when you realize that it was doing the same thing in other countries, they're like, wait, 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 what's going on? That was the part where where everybody kind of went, Oh, uh, so so it's not America being dumb. (laughs) This is a real thing. This is happening. (laughs) Cause I remember when they did the lockdown, what was it? Uh, they did the lockdown March 15th or something like that. Yeah, it was spring break. And I just started a new job, like doing sales to all my clientele, like selling uh, promotional materials, like printables and things like that. Because I do all the designs for it. I was like, might as well sell it. And I had like 111 meetings and I did the first 10 for that year. And then all of a sudden I got a call and I got another call and I got another call and I got another call. And they're all like, hey, uh, we might need to push this back. We may need. And I'm like, well, why? And they're like, we, we just need to push it back. But we'll give you a call in April. And I'm like, geez, that's like two months away. What is happening right now? And then all of a sudden, March 15th rolls around and I get word from my apartment complex who told me we'll be doing lockdown protocols. Well, I'm like, and I was like, called them. And of course, everybody's calling them like crazy. And they're like, no, it's just lockdown protocols. This is what's happening, blah, blah, blah. And they sent links to the site or whatever. So we went to the, you know, dot gov and I was looking at everything. I was like, oh, crap, stuff is happening that I'm yeah. not paying attention to. <laughs> Cause I work a lot, you yeah. know? So I literally, I'm like, well, okay. A lot of the stuff they're talking about, I already do. Cause I don't, I, I mean, I deal with people online. I deal with them over digital space. Mm-hmm. I don't really deal with them in the physical space. But yeah. when I opened that new job where I was going and meeting with people, 
I then realized why most of my meetings were canceled Mm -hmm. for the near future, which by the way, they never recovered. Like that job died. (laughs) (laughs) Like, cause anytime I've mentioned anything to any of my clients that even I do stuff for now, they're like, ah, oh, no, nah, uh, no, nah, I'm good. Cause mm-hmm. mainly everything's risen in price so much that all promotional yeah. materials and everything printing all of it's way more expensive than people yeah. want. Yeah. So there are a lot of people who have been like, yeah, I really need to get this. I need to get this. And they give me a list and I give them the price and they're like, ha ha, no, <laughs> I'm not paying that. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I can't make them go cheaper. That's what it is. And they're like, uh, I'm going to go find something else. And they'll call me a couple of weeks later and be like, yeah, they're all the same price. And I'm like, yeah, that's kind of yeah. how that, that works. Like the price of wood. It's called inflation. The price of wood, like double, triple. I remember when a, when a two by four was $6 and 24 cents. And plywood was stupid. That's what we end up opening our studio during the pandemic. So yeah, building those sets and then yeah. we go back to the store and we're like, wait, that wasn't the price a month ago. Nope. Everything's gone up. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Build that set and then yeah. you go back a couple months later. Uh, why is the number still going up? Yeah. That's the new price. God damn. So yeah. it was like, you know, doing the whole pandemic thing was a little scary, a little frightening because I have older parents. So having older parents, like much older parents, because my dad was 40 when he had me. So good Lord. So, (laughs) you know, they were in that group of the one that could be affected the Mm -hmm. worst, worst case scenario. Right. So, you know, I didn't want to be the kid. I couldn't be like some of these people I'd known and met and been like, ah, it's all fake. It's a conspiracy. It's probably not. And I'm like, uh yeah i don't care what you're saying they're like oh you're gonna bite into it i'm like dude would you like to be the person who gives your mom a hug and kills her because of that and he was like oh and i was like yeah your mom's already dead better safe than sorry that would be the smarter option Mm -hmm. caution air on the side of caution is intelligent yeah but um yeah because i would have felt horrible if that had happened yeah Fortunately, I kind of haven't hugged my parents since because, yeah, I know I should. <laughs> well, I think I hugged them once. I, I don't know when when it was fully off and everything was fine and they were, uh, what is it, vaccinated and got boosters. And I think I gave them a hug then. But I'm just kind of weary of it because I'm more the pandemic made me realize that there's stuff out there you can't control. Yeah. And you shouldn't live your life fully immersed in fear. But you should also not live your life like you have the IQ of a peanut because that person is just going to die quicker. (laughs) (laughs) Like I had a friend who would live his life just pure adrenaline and everything. And yeah, he died. You know when he died? 24 years of age. Uh, Yeah, this is an example. Like just trying to understand like the pandemic kind of changed everything a little bit for a lot of people. Yeah. So I don't know. Err on the side of caution. But uh, yeah, I really liked the video. I enjoyed it. I like that they did that during the pandemic. At least I assume that's what happened. I'm assuming that's what happened. I, I think so. As that's well. a very poignated video, and there's a lot of stuff that they're talking about. It has to be about the pandemic or yeah. during the pandemic. It well, because they're all hanging out in yeah. the house, yeah. and then and they're know, wiping they're, dust off stuff that's common objects used every single day. Right. Yeah, that has to and be the guys it. driving, and there's nobody on the road yeah. looking at the stadium, which is empty. So pretty yeah, sure yeah. it's during the pandemic. Okay. Well, what's up, BTS Army? How are you doing? Army, I know you don't like throw the BTS in front of us. <laughs> what up, Army? Uh, <laughs> we enjoyed this one. We liked Fake Love and we loved Dynamite Fake back love. in the day. Sorry. Stop every time. It's catchy. I know. It's still in my head. We kind of guessed with this one. What? I don't want to, you know, you're in the middle of the sentence, so I want. That's, no let's, let's keep that system. I like that no, system. No, just for now. Just Maybe for now. do this. Just like we did no. as kids. No. Like we did as kids. I know. Go ahead. What? Didn't you say they know multiple languages? Who did? Yeah, BTS. they do. I thought it was really cool that uh, they use I, them. I assume that the entire song is in Korean, and then there were parts that were in English as well. Sometimes they write them in that like that. Yeah, not, Japanese that was, anime does that a that lot. That was just too. really cool. I don't know if they were singing or other not, languages as well, but not Japanese cool. anime. Japanese bands do that a lot. Like they'll mm-hmm. throw in English words and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. They I thought that up. was cool. Yeah, because you know people out here don't really do that. I'm pretty sure somebody told me that they're trilingual. Like a lot of them speak three different languages or four, which is impressive. Yeah. Cause 
I can sound like I'm speaking several different languages. Yeah, I, I can don't read actually them. know them. <laughs> I can yeah. read them and it's accurate, but I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Lecha, <laughs> baby. But uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we enjoyed it. We liked it a lot. We liked it a lot. It was cool. It was cool, man. It was cool. Yeah. I want to yeah. see some new stuff. Well, okay. Yeah. We got to do some other videos real quick, and then we'll come back to doing more BTS terror type stuff. Okay, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell Thank notification you. to know when new stuff is coming out. H, why don't you introduce the merch? We'll do it that way. I'll do that part. Then you do introducing merch and links. Wherever it is. No, you literally say it. Like I do. Oh, see, we didn't practice this. You just I know made we did. Like this a, is you just made me we're look doing like doing it idiot. now. All right, do it. This is where the merchandise goes. <laughs> Don't do it so un- unenthusiastic. <laughs> Shut up! I'm doing it. Whatever. <laughs> this is where the merchandise goes, and uh, Joel's going to design some new stuff. No, he, he did design some new stuff. So a if few you want new things. You want some more new stuff? Then you got to buy the old stuff, and then we get some new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Ta da! Uh, <laughs> And I did do a drowning turkey <laughs> t-shirt design. If you oh. you might know that reference, uh, but I deleted it because it was dumb. <laughs> it was you just, just had to be there. You had to be there. It's okay. For like 15 videos, I said that at the end of the video. But yeah, you need to work on that that ending. You know? I liked it. It was authentic. Yeah, it was authentic. All right, it was definitely authentic. <laughs> Awfully, awfully authentic. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, guys, we'll check you out next time. Have a good day and rewind.